The fall sale offers a unique opportunity to understand what you're buying. Whether it's a broodmare, a foal, a performance horse, this format gives the buyers an opportunity to go to the horse's original farm, see the people, see where it's been, talk to the people about how it was started, and really get to know the product that they're buying. As the dollar fluctuates across North America and the cost of importation from Europe is volatile over the years, this sale has offered an opportunity to see what's in our own backyard and look at the horses that, that our breeders have produced. I really have experienced an increase in the quality of horses as a result of the sale. Breeders are always lotto investors and they want to win. So when you get them together and they get the chance to really see each other's horses and how the marketplace responds to them, it really helps them improve their breeding program. And we've also been able to help the small breeder continue in business and have success. My favorite memory is from a consigner named Heather Smith. She was always nervous about what reserve do I set and how do I set it and all that kind of stuff. But I remember she brought a really, really nice mare. And as the bidding went on on that mare, she started crying. And she said, I was just looking for enough money to buy my husband a quad. But I was delighted for Heather, but she deserved it. She's one of our breeders that has made the greatest improvement in horses and has been really dedicated for a sales effort. And where she lives in Tabor is not an easy location for a buyer to get to. So as far as she's concerned, this, this sale's sort of been a lifesaver for her to be able to be a good breeder. This committee has been pivotal in their ability to read what's coming up in the industry. And the committee has always had an attitude of, how can we help you? So that is for the buyer or the seller. How can we help you buy a horse? How can we help you get your horse sold? Not everybody can afford to go to Europe and import a horse from Europe. And we still need good professional and amateur bred horses that can compete at any level, whether that be a grassroots level for the beginner or someone who has higher expectations of where they want to go in the industry, these horses can do the job. I think we underestimate the value of the horse-human bond. There's something magical about horses and the bond that people get with those and the learning that is involved in taking care of a live animal. You can be a pleasure trail rider, a person who has a horse that they don't ride. I right now cannot ride, uh, but I spend a lot of time with my horses still. It's something that becomes ingrained in you and helps you develop your own sense of self manage your own emotions and be there for something else. It opens up a world to people that taps an inner strength, an inner self-reliance and an inner confidence that I'm not sure comes from any other sport or hobby to my knowledge. <laughs>